Hey, what's going on guys? It's Justin at Salt Strong, and I'm here to tell you I have had one of the most incredible days on the water over in Mosquito Lagoon. I caught my personal best redfish on artificial lure, and now that I think about it, it's probably my biggest redfish ever. Uh, I've been fishing Mosquito Lagoon for 15 years, and if you're like me and you've encountered a big bull red, you know that this is not their first rodeo, it's not their second, not their third. These fish have probably seen just about every single artificial lure out there and a wide variety of bait. Even captains have a hard time catching these guys on bait. And in today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about the three things that you need to have in your tackle box if you're going to target big bull redfish in shallow water. So a quick recap, before I explain these three things, I want you to understand what's happening in these scenarios. In the summer and fall months, big bull redfish here in Mosquito Lagoon and the Indian River, they start to school up a little bit. Um, you'll find these big breeders and they'll go into their spawn mode in late summer and early fall. But up until that time, you find these big bull reds in three different fashions. You'll either find them one or two at a time passing through. And in those situations, they're very difficult to get to eat. Uh, they're probably just heading from point A to point B and they're not in a feeding mood. The second situation is when you find them in small schools and when they're moving in a school they can get competitive with one another at the right time of the year when they are spawning but throughout the rest of the year if you find two or three together and they're all moving in one direction or multiple fish in one direction it's hard to get them on artificial. These fish are very smart and a lot of captains are known to lob a piece of cut bait or blue crab or a variety of different things to get these big breeding fish to eat. And the third situation, and what I got into today, is I found a pod of tailing bulls. Now, when these redfish are tailing, they're specifically keyed in on whatever bait fish is available on the bottom. They're not chasing mullet and other bait fish. They're not crashing through bait pods. They're not aggressive. When they get to be this size, they're really scavengers, if you will. They're looking for an easy meal opportunity. And down in the sand and the grass and the mud, they're looking primarily for crustaceans and fish carcasses a dead mullet or a blue crab that's turned upside down, that's the easy meal opportunity they're looking for. So step number one, the first thing you need to have with you is a good shrimp presentation. What I had on today, this is our Slam Shady Salt Strong Power Prawn USA. This is a custom lure we make over at Salt Strong. Now, I repeat, I've been fishing the lagoon for 15 years. I've thrown uh, probably every single shrimp lure on the market from gulp shrimp to savage gear and life target and sure they work don't get me wrong but i have yet to hook into a big bull on any other lure than this guy right here and i think the reason is because you want a shrimp lure that not only looks like a shrimp right there's a lot of lures out there that can mimic a shrimp or look like it in the packaging and i think they end up catching fishermen more than they do fish because the second part of that equation is you need to have a shrimp lure that actually moves like a shrimp underwater. That was our main focus. Movement is the priority. You want the presentation to be right. So we designed a shrimp lure that pretty much looks exactly like the spitting image of a white shrimp in this particular color profile. We have them in a natural color as well. And when you slowly undulate this through the water, this looks like a shrimp in its natural habitat. So when I find tailing redfish, and in this situation a tailing bull, I know they're keyed in on crustaceans. They're looking for shrimp, they're looking for crabs, and easy meal opportunity and this is definitely not aggressive they're not going to get spooked or swim away from a profile like this so part two to that formula is having a scent additive. And this is really important because, like I said, when these redfish get to be that size, 40 inches and above, their olfactory senses start to take charge. Again, they're looking for a scrap of meat on the bottom, and they're probably not going to show much interest to a PVC plastic or even a Z-Man plastisol plastic if there's not a scent that's helping to convince them that this is the real deal. So. I also did have a little bit of Dr. Juice here on this power prawn. This combo has been proven to work on snook, on redfish, on trout, flounder, any inshore game fish. Tarpon too. I got a really big tarpon on the power prawn last year. And this Dr. Juice saltwater slam scent, this is a proprietary scent that we made with them keying in on the pheromones, the caramones, and other response triggers from predatory fish to get them to come over and strike. At the very least, to get, them, to get them to come over and investigate what you're offering. Any little bit that you can have as an advantage to get fish to strike your lure works to your benefit. And I think scent is a huge factor when targeting these big fish. 
And then the final piece to the trifecta, something I, I thought about in the moment, and I'm so glad I made this decision, is if you can have a little bit of a sound additive to your lure, I think that that's gonna also help you get noticed, especially when you're throwing a shrimp presentation. So I popped an itty bitty little rattle here in the cavity underneath the, uh, the weedless entry point for this prawn. On the backside, we have these little battle rattles, these little Pyrex rattles we can pop into the tail. And if you can pick it up here on the mic, probably hear it right there. This little rattle, as I'm slowly bouncing this shrimp through the sand and the mud, this is going to catch their attention. Now you've got a lure that looks like a shrimp, moves like a shrimp, smells like a shrimp, especially one that's stressed out trying to get away, and that clicking tail is just enough to grab these fish's attention. By not having a rattle, especially fishing in dirty water, you run the risk of not being noticed. Again, it's a small little feature that I think is super important in these crustacean lures. It's definitely something you wanna add if you're in dirty water scenarios. So for everyone out there watching this video, if you follow this recipe and you end up in the scenario that I was in today, your chances of catching a big fish like that are gonna increase dramatically. And the best part about all this is you don't have to worry about getting all of these individual things. We have a bundle, uh, it's called our Power Prawn USA Bundle. We include the Power Prawn, we include our custom Hoss Helix hooks, which is a weedless hook and the weight is a little further forward so that shrimp glides down at kind of a 45 degree angle a little more naturally. We include various jig heads. We include the battle rattles. Everything you guys need is all in one tight knit little bundle. So you don't have to worry about getting one, two, three little pieces to work to your advantage. Everything's set and ready to go. If you guys wanna find that bundle, we have it available at our online tackle shop, fishstrong.com. You guys gotta head over there and pick one up. Guys, if you have any comments, questions, uh, ideas, if you've been in this situation before and you haven't been successful, or if you've had a day like myself and you've been able to get a solid red or your biggest snook, I want to hear your stories. Leave some comments down below. I'd love to read them. I appreciate you watching, guys. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the water. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know we're the best inshore fishing club in America. We teach you how to find and catch all kinds of inshore game fish. You save a ton of money on your tackle, and you're gonna meet a bunch of awesome new fishing friends. So if that sounds like something for you, come join us in our insider club, and we hope to see you soon.